As we mentioned in the first video of this series, your career system should look with something like this. As many offenses are there are valid things that you need to go after. Curator is so good at of finding hidden threats that it should be able to detect those attacks if it's provided the right logs and flow data and sometimes even payload data with QNI. But if your system is full of pages with too much stuff, uh, don't, don't panic. You need to do some tuning. The, the place for tuning your curator system it is not on the offenses tab where the offenses uh, showed up. It's actually, you go into the log activity monitor and you're gonna make a search, which I like to call this search the Sterling Jones uh, search. I don't know if he created it or not, but I, I saw it from him the, uh, for the first time. So you go into log activity, you click on the, uh, you're gonna create a search here that you, you are gonna save uh, because you wanna do this you know, every month, every week, uh, however often this, so I'm going to run this for the last, you know, seven days. You specify the time that, that, that you find pertinent in your environment. And all I'm going to do here is say log source index. And I'm going to select here the custom rules engine because I have an all in one system. Uh, that's the only thing that I need to select. In your environment, you may have mul multiple CREs that you want to add. And when I search on it, I'm going to get all the offenses that fire, not only the ones that have dispatch events, but, but all of them. And I actually pivot this by event name. This is your tuning report. And in my case, because again, this is a demo system with very limited uh, things, um, I have, you, you're going to get from this report that again, I encourage you to click here on the save criteria and save it, uh, including your quick searches so you can periodically run this. You will get sorted the, uh, the rules that are really firing the most and that's where you need to start from the top until you hit the button and you enable everything that you need and you you have your system tuned now a good portion of the tuning has to do with the definition of the servers and the network and i covered that in the previous videos of this series uh, i hope in, in in enough detail you may also perhaps we'll have to find to tune up rules like for example this one let's say that the in in your environment when you run, you you run your sterling report you see that this is uh, the rule that is actually firing well it is a matter of if you take a look at it from the from the editor it might be that in today's day and age you know 200,000 bytes is not really something big uh, or 10 flows in 12 minutes is not that much. Uh, you may want to actually, first of all, duplicate the rule. Don't modify the rule. It's a lot better if you actually duplicate the rule uh, and you actually rename it with the name of your company. In that way, you know, if this if this default rule gets actually updated, it's not going to modify what you have. And then you, you tune it uh, to whatever is it that you need. So you select the rule that you're going to actually change. And instead of modifying it, you actually duplicate it with the appropriate name that you want to keep. And also make sure that you put annotations on the rule. So anyone else who comes and see this later, or even yourself after several months you understand why that this rule was actually changed it might not be unusual that one of the rules that fire uh, and, and too often could be the x-force premium and again if we take a look at this one and say notice that it says and not when an event matches any one of the follows and again if you don't have these definitions uh, well tuned then you may 
get uh, uh, false positives. It could also be that some of the IPs that you have are in a multi-host environment and then yeah there was some bad guy who used that IP for sending spam but the host uh, AWS or whoever on the, the same IP hosted you know 500 other type of servers and if any one of those 500 other communicates with you it, it may be uh, triggered as a false positive so those are some some things that you actually may want to watch for when you are tuning your rules uh, to the adequate level of uh, firing. Here's another example of, of the X4 Premium communicated with external. Notice that is this that are not conditioning here in which if you don't have uh, your uh, servers well defined and one of those actually happened to have a communication to the outside, well this rule is uh, going to fire uh, because uh, the server definition has not been kept up date. So go into uh, assets and, and do server discovery and, and you know let the system find those servers. You check them out to make sure that they are okay and then you approve those uh, servers as we have shown in one of the uh, pr previous uh, videos. So as we have hopefully transmit in this sequence of short videos is tuning curator is not hard if you start from the right place again don't start from the offensive staff go and create your sterling uh, report and run it periodically to make sure that your definitions are where they need to be so curator only informs you about the things that you need to take action hey i need to re-image this machine somebody seems to have been uh, hit by, by ransomware this guy is behaving strangely and is adding too much risk to the to the organization things of that of that nature